you continue to refuse to accept reality, what it's going to take, where you're at presently, and the gap between where you are and where you want to be. And the reason I'm saying that for many of you watching this video is when I have conversations with students of mine, random people on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, I'm finding out over and over, this is a recurring theme and pattern. People know what it takes. People know what they signed up for. Like there's no mystery here. People aren't being blindsided by, oh my God, I had no idea entrepreneurship was going to be this much work or, oh my God, I had no idea real estate was going to be this difficult. You know, it, it, it's insane to think that some people would be so naive because we're not in an era anymore where information is hidden. You guys, especially if you follow people like me who are just raw and real and who have given it to you unfiltered and uncensored for all these years. You cannot be in my ecosystem and claim that like all these things like personal development and developing your confidence and communication, all this stuff, oh my, it's not what I thought I was going to be. You knew. So I'm bringing that up because people cannot go around making the excuse that they're ignorant or naive to things. Especially if you're an adult watching this, like you gotta, you gotta stop that. Full responsibility has to be taken and the, the, the stopping of the refusal of the commitment to the process and things that need to be done. It is insane because when we break this thing down, it's extremely simple what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you want to run your business, you want to be a real estate agent, right? You say, hey, I want to develop my sales skills or whatever it is and whatever reason you came to me. You want to be more confident, whatever it is, right? Because I know I have people from all walks of life now on this channel with the 200,000 subscribers that we have. It is very clear to you what needs to be done. You know. And leave a comment if, if maybe I'm crazy. But you know exactly what you need to do. And it blows my mind when I have these discussions with people week after week after week after week and they still don't fucking change. What the hell are you waiting for, man? Many of you refuse to put yourself, and this is the key, you refuse to put yourself in the position where you have to change. That's the problem. You're stopping yourself. You make the excuses. Oh, well, I'm distracted or this and that. That's a bunch of bullshit, man. You're allowing that shit to happen. If you say, hey, I want to make phone calls for three hours and you don't because you say your phone distracts you, you're weak. You're allowing that to happen. No one's forcing you to be on your damn phone scrolling through Instagram and Facebook and all that nonsense. You just don't want it bad enough. Admit it. Let's start being real about these things because I'm tired of the excuses and all these other things that, that, that people put out and then other people jump in, yeah, me too, me too. And it's like this big woe is me. You know, we're just going to be the victim. And this is like, what is going on? We're going backwards as a society. As people right now, we're weak. Our ancestors right now are rolling over in their graves laughing at us saying, man, this new generation is fucking pathetic. They're soft. They can't get anything done. They won't even uh, wake up on time. They won't even honor their word. Remember back in the day when giving your word meant something? It doesn't mean shit now. It really doesn't. Because people are so used to other people being fake and putting on a front for social media and just saying stuff and not actually taking any action that that's become the norm. New people would come to a channel like mine and be like, oh man, this guy talks a big game and they would automatically assume that I'm full of shit. Isn't that crazy? That's a product of our society and our environment because people are experiencing that and more importantly, they know themselves that they're full of shit and that's why. And that, that, that's why when they say what you see in others and what you don't like is a reflection of yourself, it's exactly that. They're like, you know what? I'm kind of false so maybe they're being false and they're lying too because I do that. Exactly. Exactly. So when you do come across the real, it slaps you in the face. But very few people like me are going to say, you're full of shit. Or, hey, you know what? That's a you problem. Because it's become offensive to say the truth now. And this is why many people can get away with this stuff. But I really ask you, because I'm going to explore it in this video a little bit more, specifically some things that you can do if you're struggling with this. Because like th this is really starting to blow my mind. As time goes on, the same principles apply. The same fundamental principles in all these categories that we talk about on this channel. Yet people refuse to accept it because let me walk you through this, right? Let's say you're on my channel and you decided to start a business or get into real estate or do something entrepreneurial. Let's be real here. You knew exactly what the fuck you were signing up for. You knew it. You knew it. It wasn't like, oh my God, this is all a surprise. You knew it. 
when you sign, for those of you who got into real estate or started your business and you, know, you got the funding and you had to get your license or whatever it is that you had to do, you knew what you were getting into. You knew it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. You knew you were taking a risk. You knew it was going to take a lot of sleepless nights and you know, 10, 12, 14 hour days. Like None of this is, is new information. Because whether you follow me or somebody else, I'm sure somebody told you that and deep down inside you knew, okay, this isn't going to be easy. What's up, buddy? You knew it. So why is there this facade and story and, and this lack of like, I don't want to do this and this is so hard. Like, why do you fight it? Why do you refuse to do what you need to do and accept it? Because so many people just don't want to accept it. When you accept it, everything shifts and then you're like, okay. We need to now focus on the solution and doing these things and finally committing to these tasks and this process that needs to be done to achieve X, Y, Z result. But if you never accept it and deny it, it's no different than people who are in denial about reality. Like the people who think they're, they're so cool when they're not. The people who think they're more valuable than they are. The people who are delusional and entitled and all that, which you see online. Like the people who will come to me or someone else and be upset that we're on these platforms and they'll be like, well, you should just give everything away for free and this and that. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, who are you to come in as a nobody on the internet and make demands from people who owe you absolutely fucking nothing? That's insane. All this stuff spills over into all these categories. Where now these same people and that attitude makes people, oh, well, I'm just, I just want everything and you should just give it to me. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're crazy. And adults are doing that. That's childlike behavior in an adult. It is insane. And this is just the norm now, I see, especially online. I see it a lot in my industry and just online in general. It's, it's disgusting. What the hell is going on? People don't value hard work anymore. They don't want to commit to the process. And this is why I'm very selective too about who I work with closely because I don't want that shit around. I don't want that in my community. I don't want that in my fucking presence. It's disgusting to be entitled and have that type of attitude. People need to grow up, mature, and accept that what they want, they're going to have to work for it. They're going to have to earn it. You want a nice body, you're going to have to work for it. You want to build up a business, you're going to have to work for it and spend money and invest and learn and go through the trials and tribulations that everyone else like me has gone through and continues to go through. You're not special. And, and, and the, the, the simplistic answer here is, again, accept that you're going to have to do these things and stop looking for a way out or an easy way out because that's what most of you are still fucking doing. And it's sad because if you watch me and you're doing that, it is insane. You're just not learning. You're not. Like how could somebody come into the entrepreneurial world or real estate or anything, right? Not having any experience, never have gotten the result and think that they can figure it out on their own or I'm just going to do like what? Like what would give that person the confidence to deviate from the path that has been paved a million years before they ever got there? Like you would have to be very egotistical, dumb, ignorant to think that you can do this thing and figure it out on your own and I don't have to do what everybody else does. Because then you're implying you're special. Nobody's special, dude. And, and then... I'm controversial for saying something like that. Well, we're all unique and we're all human beings. Like, shut up with all that dumb shit, man. You're not special. I'm not special. You're, nobody's special. We may say, yeah, my child is special to me. Cool, but to you. But I'm speaking in general here. I'm not going to walk around and expect the world to treat me like I'm some special guy. That would be no different than me walking around saying, well, you need to treat me better because I have a lot of followers on YouTube and I make a lot of money and I'm, I'm cool. I would be an idiot if I did that. You would all would say I'm an arrogant asshole for doing that and you would be right. I don't do that because I don't think I'm special. I know and understand my position and what I've earned, but I've worked to get that. It's, it's that simple. So when I step up and I have these things on paper and these accolades and these character traits that I've developed, okay, they've been earned, rightfully so. So people respond to that, who I've become, not the titles and all that shit. That's what people need to understand is, again, you're going to have to walk that path and earn that. But many people refuse to just commit to that basic process. Like how many times have I drilled it into people? Hey, if you want to start a business, the, the, the main vehicle to grow your business is to make contacts, talk to a lot of people to get potential leads and opportunities. And people still to this day will refuse to do it. 
And, and instead of just saying, you know what, I'm too fucking pussy and scared to do it, they'll come up with all these stories. Well, you know, it's the modern era and social media. Shut up. You just don't want to do it. Admit it. Accept it. That you're too chicken shit or scared to do it. And you think you can figure out a better way. Remember what I said earlier, if you didn't catch the video and reel that I made, 75% of people in my industry in real estate have not sold one property this year. The year before that, it was 50%. It's getting worse because people are straying away. One of the main reasons is people are straying away from the traditional stuff that I've been talking about preaching and teaching and mastering for years. And I've told you guys, people are starting to wake up to it. This is why I've seen a recent influx in a lot of my training and coaching and stuff. Good. People are finally fucking waking up and accepting and smelling the coffee and saying, damn, I, I need to do this. Good to those of you who are waking up. Accept what needs to be done and do it. And start, like if you really want to like, create a new paradigm for your life, Start calling things and saying things as they are. If you're scared, say, I'm scared. If you're too lazy, say, I'm lazy. Start being real. Stop with the facades and the stories. And Because what happens is when we create stories or narratives or lies, other people latch onto it. And then you get confirmation bias from them because they're delusional too. And they're unwilling to accept reality. If you don't have the skill set to do something, say, I don't have the skill set. Because then I can step up and say, okay, join this and do this and I'll help you. But you have to accept that. But a lot of you know what comes with accepting of it because you know what happens after that. And that's why you keep trying to deny it. But all you do is, is create more suffering for you in your life and you delay success, gratification, fulfillment, and all the stuff that you're looking for because you first won't accept where you're at, what you need, and just reality in general for your business, for your life. I mean, insert any category here. It applies. Because when you won't accept it, you're not going to, again, open the door to the next step. But many of you, let's be real, you can leave a comment. You know what's next. You know the moment like, like a lot of people talk to me, oh, I'm going to sign up for your coaching. You know the moment you sign up, everything's going to have to change. And many of you are too scared to commit to that. That's why you won't do it. But you won't say that. You'll say, oh, it's too expensive. Or you'll make up some other bullshit instead of just saying, you know what, bro? I'm, I'm unwilling to commit because I don't have the balls or I'm just not committed. I, I talk a big game, but I don't want to back it up. Just say the truth. Because then I'll respect that more. And the world will respect that more. But see, you don't want to deal with the embarrassment and the consequences of actually being real. That's the problem. But all you do is dig yourself a deeper hole by going the other way and lying. Because you're being unaccountable to yourself, you're not honoring your word, and you're lying. You're creating a false narrative in reality because you don't want to accept the, the facts, the reality. And the closer and quicker that you guys get back to just being real, the, the better everything is going to go for you. Yeah, you might deal with some embarrassment. Like if I admit to people, like I remember back in the day when I bought that Audi and I showed it on YouTube, I was like, you know what? I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have bought it, right? The payment's too high. I didn't get the best deal, but I was just in a rush to, to spend some of my money and make myself thinking that I'm cool. Oh, people went after me. Oh, you idiot. I told you and this and that. That's fine. But I admitted a mistake. And I've done that over the years in person, to myself, online. I don't mind. Because, yeah, people talk shit and run their mouth. I don't care. Because I have an ability now to, again, shrug off what people say, not care about you know, opinions and criticisms of, uh, of other people. But most importantly, I'm willing to accept the consequences of my actions and reality. And a lot of people still to this day are unwilling to do that. And that's why they're stuck and they can't do anything. This applies to everything in your life, your relationships, your relationships with your family, right? Your career, your self-esteem, your emotional state, all of it, a lot of it is based on this. This is why I'm so stable. Find somebody else who's been as consistent as me. Find somebody else who has dealt with the bullshit like I have, being censored and flagged and all that, and has still come out on top. The person who's been unwavering in their belief. The person who, who has not changed at their core. Good luck. You may find others like me, but I guarantee you that's very few. You can probably count it on one hand. So obviously, over the years, the track record, what I'm talking about, holds weight and true because if it hadn't, I would have been gone and the results wouldn't show and things would be different. 
So if you're watching this and saying, well, I don't agree with this guy or this is new, this is a new concept, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think it is, but maybe it is for you to accept reality, start speaking facts. Because again, from a personal standpoint, right, like in everyday life, societal life, we're told, oh, it's okay, it's okay to tell white lies. No, it's not. If you are in a relationship and your partner says, how do I look and they don't look good, maybe it wouldn't be wise to say, you're ugly as shit. Maybe we would change our words in order to, but we still have to tell them, hey, you're not looking good. We have to convey the message. We're not going to tell a white lie. If you believe that, then this, this topic is going right over your head because you missed the premise. Reality is reality and we need to accept it. And this is why like every day I get tagged and posts from people too, like uh, on the same subject. My friend Colton, right? Shout out to him. He tagged me in a story. He's like, you know what? I didn't like get my shit together until, you know, Brian told me one day, hey bro, like you're really getting overweight. You need to do something. And then he finally changed. Why? Because I guarantee you everybody else in his life was like, oh, you look good. It's okay. You know, well, you know, you still look all right. And no one would just say, hey bro, you got fucking fat. So why would we tell a white lie? You see how this is a slippery slope? Because that feeds, if you're going to tell white lies to other people, you tell them to yourself. You tell yourself sweet lies and white lies and purple lies and black lies and brown lies or whatever, right? doesn't matter what fucking color. But we need to accept reality and call things as they are. This is why our culture is so messed up right now. People like me who are just honest are labeled as misogynistic or uh, hate speech, racist. Like I've heard it all. And some of you may be surprised to hear that I've been accused of that stuff. I have. Under no grounds besides people just can't accept the fact that I'm raw and real. That's it. That's insane. That's where our world is. So it's, it, it's no surprise to me that most people are not accountable. They don't want to accept reality and, and they don't want to change the narrative and stories because most of you have created a story around these things so much so that you've blurred the line with reality. You don't even know what's real anymore. Many of you have been lied to and you lie so much. You don't know what's truth or lies anymore. Everything just kind of is mixed. Or you've just accepted that it's okay to lie. It's not okay to lie. It's not. To yourself, especially other people. And I made that commitment a long time ago that I would never lie or be untruthful ever again. Because, of course, when I was a kid, I would fuck around and do dumb stuff. But I realized my mistakes and said, no, I can't do that anymore. This is why, like, my relationships with women have been so, like, long-lasting and, and, and good. My relationships with my friends, the ones that I do really have, that I cherish, have been strong. I don't lie. I accept reality. I call things as they are. So people know with me, they're going to get the real. They're not going to get some fake fluff or whatever it is. And see, that extends into my career and everything that I do. That's why I can work so honestly in what I do. This is why I can build my team the way that I have. This is why I can build my platforms the way that I have. This is why everything in my life is long-lasting. And the moves that I make make sense. And they do well. Because they're based on reality, truthfulness, honesty, transparency, and clean ethics. There you go. That's the formula. But that first step is what I talked about in the beginning. You have to accept where they are. So if right now you're watching and like, you know what? I've fucked around the last five years. I've just wasted five years. And for many of you watching, that's you. I have some of you commenting that I see have been subscribed to my channel three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years asking me for free resources that I'm offering Meaning, you haven't done much in four, five, six, seven, eight years. You've been fucking around. It breaks my heart. And I, I really, as I have developed more as a person, I'm a lot more compassionate and feel a lot more empathy. But at the same time, it's like, man, you got to get your shit together, dude. Why? Life is, is ticking. Time is going by. Nothing's waiting for you. Every day you're getting older. Every year that's going by, things are getting more expensive and it's going to get more difficult for you. Why? Because you get ingrained in that pattern, whatever it is, of denying reality or being lazy or whatever it is. And I would recommend all of you that are watching this right now that you tag me in a post on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube here, if you're willing to do this and you're still here, where you come out and you give the reality and say, hey, you know what? 
I've been fucking around for the last you know, year, wasting time, and I've decided now it's enough, and I'm going to start today, and I'm going to do something. And then you don't just make the post, you actually start doing something. But I would recommend all, because that's going to shed that weight off of you of being embarrassed of admitting to the world where you're at. Because many of you, you don't want the world to see where you're at because you're embarrassed. Good. Show them. Why? Because you can change it. I had no problems or qualms when I started to show the world, hey, I'm a broke young entrepreneur. I'm just starting out. My basketball career failed because of injuries and I have to start over. But fuck it. Here, here we are. I'm not the best communicator, right? I'm not the most sharp. But guess what? Follow me on this journey. I'll be at the top one day. And that's what I did. And many of you refuse to accept that you have to start at the beginning. Or you're like, well, I've been in you know, entrepreneurship or real estate for two or three years and people think I'm doing good, but I, I can't give up the facade. I can't let, admit that I've been struggling or that I've been fucking around. Do it. Otherwise, you will be trapped in your own misery and lie forever and for good. And you'll never get out of it. And you never will. And that's the reality. It's as sad as it is. Your own ego is stopping you from developing and getting better. Why? Because of the criticisms and judgments of a lot of people who don't really give a shit about you. Who cares? Admit it. Start with where you're at, like I said in the beginning, and accept it and proclaim it and say, this is where I'm at. I'm broke or I suck at communication or I'm starting my business and it's really hard and I'm not doing well. Admit it. That's the most freeing, liberating and power move type of things that you can do. Why? Because you can change it. And then I can track and see, oh, they started here and they went here. Then we respect that. Then you develop. Then you get more bold. You get more confident. And you start actually taking action instead of sitting there and rotting in your lies and your lack of acceptance of reality and where you're at. It's okay to not be okay with yourself. It's okay. Because why? You can then become okay with yourself and you can become okay with you. Like I used to not be okay with myself. Now I am. Very much so. You can do the same if you want, but you're going to have to accept reality and step up. So I can go on and on in these types of videos, but I'm going to stop here because I think 20, 30 minutes is, is kind of a good range. Those of you willing to step up, if you're in entrepreneurship, sales, real estate, whatever, I can help you, but you got to step up and join my coaching or do something outside of just watching these damn videos if you want to take it to that level. If you're interested, all the links are in the description. I do one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultations. I have courses. I do a ton of stuff. Pick what suits you. I'm not going to tell you because I don't know who's watching, right? But do something. If you want to support the channel and this message, leave a thumbs up, share this video, and make the request and do what I told you to do. Make that post and tag me and I'll share it and you'll see. Accept reality. All right? We'll see you on the next one. Peace.